We are at a new round one location, not only for us, but this is actually the first one in Florida, which is the state that we call home. So even though it's a little bit of a ways away from home for us, we're very excited to have one in this state. So the goal for today is to just kind of like get some cute prizes. Um, there's not like anything super big that we're looking for. It's like just to have fun. But while we were actually loading up the card, we took a peek in the redemption area and I collect these Shaneda Global Otters. So look what Spencer spotted for me. So we already redeemed some tickets for this little guy and uh, I'm pretty excited because this is my fourth one. Right as soon as you walk in the door here, you know the big door entrance with the giant bowling pen. There is just rows and rows of claw machine. This is incredible. Now this one's not gonna have as many of the skill claws as you guys know and love. There's gonna be a lot of these Jim and I three prong claws. Uh, most of your skill claws are gonna be for actually figurines. I think there's one or two with flush and not as many of the pokey kind of claws, but there's still so many claw machines. I can't wait to see what we end up with here today. Okay, so since the theme is things we like, colors we like, animals we like, we're just kind of like going crazy here. But check this out, it's a purple axolotl. You guys know that we love axolotls and obviously I think everyone knows yeah. that purple's kind of our thing. Yeah, right? Um, something interesting to note is when you go to a round one, when they start running low on stock, they'll start putting what's coming up next. But a lot of round ones won't let you pick from there. So just right. keep that in mind. You gotta go with what's out. Right, and a lot of times they might have to adjust the claw because it's a different size or weight. So when it says coming up next, even if they're out of these, if uh -huh. the back wall only has these monkeys, it probably won't be available till the next day. Oh yeah, like they might turn the claw off while they're resetting it. That right. makes sense because uh, it'd be like a lot of work to be redoing all these claws all the time. Right. So this is a joystick claw. Um, so Spencer's able to move the claw freely. It's a regular three prong claw. I'm not gonna talk too much about the double tap for this one. Um, we'll see how it oh. goes. There's no way. There's no, no way. way. There's no way. It hit him in the back. Uh, and it looked really <laughs> cute though. Did you that see it? That was so cute. <laughs> I cannot believe our first call of the day. That was an immediate win on the first play of the Show day. Show me the mouth. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Spencer always tries to put his hand in these. Like. Well, because they had the other places that you put your entire arm into, like the sharks. Oh, we know, we know. But this is so cute. Look how adorable that is. That's a really nice prize for science. Yeah, I had to know. Okay. This, okay, so it hit the first one in the back. I didn't expect it oh, to Oh, yeah, I thought land. it would have been terrible. I thought it was toast. I wasn't going to be negative, but I was like, oh, it wasn't that great of a grab, you know? Um, I was ready to put more credits in. Yeah, for science, let's see. Okay, so this is no. grabbed in the back. That did not look like a good grab at all, though. That was not a snap. We'll play it one more time, okay? okay. I just really wanted to see it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> Maybe they're just like, uh, yeah, get rid of these. Let's uh, put it on super strong. Yeah, claw. right? <laughs> okay, here we go. No, see, I double tapped it there even. Oh. And it, it, it really wasn't that strong of a snap still. Okay. Well, I think that there's other things. I think it was worth trying. Oh, for though. sure. Yeah, 100%. This round one also has a pretty good mix of the coin, we're gonna I call this the coin, it's like a big plushy coin to me, and then the plush in the machines. Now this makes it so that they can change that back wall and they don't have to change the settings of the machine at all. This they do have to change in between the plushies, like all the different settings. But Katie has found a corn dog penguin. Yes. Now that coin though is the thing I want more than anything. Right, we want one of those giant coins that drop me in the shoe token plushy thing. The forbidden prize. The forbidden prize, because yeah, you can't take it out. Obviously you have to go get somebody and they give you the prize. What do you think about this? Um, I would go a little bit more to the right. Yeah, because you don't want it, because it's gonna be a big spin, yeah, it's gonna be a, a big claw. Idea. And then let's see front to back. That's pretty good front to back. We'll see okay, if it I'm not gonna double tap this. Okay, thing. you're not gonna double tap it. Go oh, a great spin, not a snappy claw though. Oh. Give it one more try. There's tons of others. I can literally already see another one over there with the same corn dog penguin. And there's um, penguins in other outfits, actually. Penguins in other outfits. Other foods? Other food outfits? Yeah, yeah. There's a um, lot of animals in food outfits over here, honestly. Okay. I love that there's a generous time limit because I take a long time. Another good lineup, a little bit to the left. Ooh. Uh, Yeesh. We've talked about this before. I like when it picks it up a little bit. I want to feel like I'm doing something. So right. I don't love this one. Right, okay. You want to move on then? Yes. All right. Okay, well, we've moved on from the corn dog, but the carrot was Katie's second option here for penguins and food outfits. We've actually won this penguin inside of a turkey like before, but that got donated very swiftly. We didn't swiftly. see this when we won that one. No, this one was not here. Okay, so this has the big token here. You get, here's a good shot of that token. You can kind of see, I'm calling it a token regardless of what it is. It's, it's like what a coin. it is. And there's two sizes of these. Oh, okay. So this is your, I guess, smaller size. All right, but it's really easy to line up. It all just kind of depends on the, you got to double tap or no? Oh, I went back on it. That one, 
I had a decent little grab there. Try it again. Okay. I see. I like. I like when it like picks it up a little. I feel like I'm having more fun that way. Right. I don't mind the token. I definitely prefer winning the prize, but I don't. I don't not like this. For sure. But I think uh, you're pretty far to the left. It looks like. Something that I think is interesting about the token, since they don't have to change it in between, so they can set it up to be that oh, oh why really are you going back. way far back? I don't know. Try one more time. What's up with is me? Is it flop pulling back maybe a little bit? No, you don't realize it's, it? It's you girl Katie. But they can really dial in and hone these settings so that it does that kind of fun pick up, flip it over. Uh, definitely move forward. You're still way too far back. What's yeah, up with me? That's good. Who's letting I don't me know, do you didn't do that on the other one. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Oh, uh, I would know. I can go back to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're making me really nervous. I'm making myself nervous. A perfect grab. Oh, oh. Come on. Hold it. Hold no, it. No, no, Hold no, it. No. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Okay, but that means it's really oh, we gotta strong try it again. enough. It's strong enough to keep going for me. I really that, thought that was going to be it. We're going to pretend like first two didn't happen and give you your full three now, but I will help you line it up if you need it. Forward. Oh my gosh, guys. Keep going. Who am I? Right there. Stop, stop. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you got this. And she's not double tapping it or nothing. Oh, that was a really strong play up. Is Come it gonna do the on. same thing? Come on, it's just enough. Oh! Oh, okay, no, it's in a much better spot now. If it starts moving it and drops it again, but you cannot land that claw in the shoe this time. Okay. Let's see the absolute diligence here as she lines this up. And I'm going to come back and of course tell her that she needs to go forward. Yes, keep going, keep going. A little bit more, that's it. How do you okay. feel about this? I feel great about it. A beautiful lineup. Now let's see. It didn't get that it back didn't. very good. It didn't. It didn't. And it bounced it over here. Mm. What do you think, Katie? I think I might have to sub you in. Okay, all right. Spencer tried it once off camera before I could get the camera on. I had to that, see if the double tap would do anything. It didn't. It was my bad, though. I didn't hit the button fast enough. <laughs> But okay, we're back in action and Spencer's gonna give it a whirl now. Okay, so Let's double tap was not the way to go on this one because okay. it, it really got, you got much better grabs when it just hit the flush entirely. Okay, and double tapping is when you press the button a second time to stop the claw and it clamps where you want it to. It doesn't make the claw any stronger. That's a really good clamp. It's it is dropping, loosening a little dropping, bit. It's dropping, no, just it's a little, dropping, just a little. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I needed to go into that same really good place where you had it though. Yeah, because I got like an off the flex side bounce like twice which was really good that wasn't bad but it really needs a super strong grab all the way around it like we were talking about yeah but this one's pretty fun actually i agree all the little penguins are just staring at us i know they kind of have very blank expressions on their faces that's not very good it's not bad it's, it's dropping not... oh, oh no now it's definitely out it's way too far back into the corner we were definitely more interested in getting plushies today, but since we are in South Florida, this one is very appropriately themed. Um, I think this is very <laughs> cute. I love this. Um, I love the size ratio of the mermaids to the army men. So I guess they're like giant mermaids. Oh, I like that. Um, but the goal here is to get this. Uh, it's not a nest hook. It's like an open carabiner. Uh, so points for creativity through the ring on top of that white surface there. And okay. then once you pick it up, you get an attendant and they grab this prize for you. Um, I have to apologize. I don't know what this prize is from. No, I, I'm solely playing this for the game alone. Oh yeah. I have no idea what this is. Okay, so this one is a button uh, claw machine. So Spencer's gonna press the left button to hold it. When he releases it, it's gonna stop it. And then he's gonna press the number two button. And then when he releases it, it's gonna stop it back. All right, here we go. Oh, this one's nice and slow. That's good for this one. Um, okay. Look at that line up there. I. It looks pretty good to me. Is it back far enough? No, it's it, no. I didn't go far enough back, nor did I. I went too far to the left okay. as well. But not bad. Okay, that was a good first time. Okay. I kind of actually lined it up perfectly with the center of the the claw machine. You can see that the, obviously the carabiner is a little bit to the left. Okay. I actually went a little bit too perfectly middle. Okay. Okay. Because the carabiner is not. So perfectly too far middle. to the left. Good, good, good. Not far enough back. Okay. We got this. Let's try it one more time. Take two. I think these you always want to commit to doing like two or three times. You have to. I think when you go to round one, you want to um, kind of figure out how much you want to spend uh, at every claw machine because some of them are going to take more than one try. So just think about it before you swipe. Okay. Now let's see if I win too far to the back and not far enough left. Oh, oh that was like almost It was perfect. too far to the left, or too far to the back, I'm sorry. That was the perfect amount left. Okay, I had to check to make sure I wouldn't like last minute grab it. We've had that happen before. <laughs> it literally like caught on the chain instead of on the hook. One more yeah. time and that's it. 
because that I just was, don't know. It was one of those ones with like the whole, like this whole grid, like on that, and then it went like crazy. Oh yeah, like, I got we, stuck. Like, knocked it all over. It was very fun though. No complaints. We got our prize. Oh, it's turning a little bit. This one is really wobbly as far as a. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So you don't want to go too far back because it's kind of angled back. It's gonna be really, really close. Oh, oh. wait. No, it's not gonna spin that the right way. But will it hold it? No way. Oh. No way. Guys, it's... Wait, wait, let's see what happens when it hits the top. No way, it's balanced on there. Katie. Holy cow. Okay. Holy cow, you it's balanced. You couldn't do that again if you ever It is balanced. Tried. Hold on, I need to take a picture of this just in case you can't see that. This is for posterity. Holy cow. <laughs> I have never seen anything like this. Okay, so um, we'll turn the camera off and get an attendant we and did show it. you our prize. That was truly incredible. We have our little figurine now. I don't know quite what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm so excited. The manager also said he had never seen anything like that before. So it's really exciting for everyone all around. Love that. We are playing the Yoshi Claw because one time we were at an arcade, actually multiple times we've gotten very lucky with Yoshis. That's true. Uh, we won a giant Yoshi from a claw machine one time. We won like a big medium Yoshi. It's in one of our earlier <laughs> videos. We won a lot of like Mario yeah. characters. Um, and that one was just like, everyone's walking around with a Yoshi that day. So um, Yoshis are good luck for us. That's true. Okay, so let's see. This one you can tell used to be the coin because it has the grate over the Oh yeah, thing, they so. probably just forgot to take that, take that out, but that's not an issue, you just get an attendant. I'm gonna go for the blue one. Okay, I was wondering, because it has purple shoes. Oh yeah, I like the blue one anyways. It's the only one that's in the play field. Yeah, it's so be this one's a joystick claw and it's honestly set up like a pretty standard claw. It's an e-claw, um, so it's, it's something you guys are probably used to. <laughs> right, it might hit that one in the back. Oh. Oh. Oh, terrible lineup. It hit him right in the head. Oh, you poked him. But I don't know if there's another one. I'm going to try for that one one more time. Okay. I don't know if there's another one to go for. Like, they're all in a pile. Yeah, obviously the one that was in this blank space here was the one to go for. Oh, yeah. Okay, That's... so we don't want it to hit the head. Yeah, the, the way they're all kind of scrambling to get out of the back uh, makes this a little tricky, I think. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is the last one. Okay, big spin. Oh, great, it hit oh, the one that the was back. way better than the last spin. That it was did. really good. It Hold actually it. hit, is it gonna, it? it's holding him by Come the on, neck. Buddy. Come no on, way. Come no on. way. Good luck continues. Great oh, job. Please. That was like a little trampoline for him. That's so oh. funny. All okay. right. Okay, well, we'll grab an attendant and get Yoshi out. Yay, we got our Yoshi, our blue Yoshi, of course. So we were a little nervous that they weren't going to like reset the payout rate and the e claw by sticking their hand in, but they did. He literally reached his hand just past the grate, the lights all flashed, and the machine knew that he won. That way it won't just automatically pick up a second one, not thinking that it paid out the first time. Our arms are slowly filling up, but look what we found here. It's a purple squid with stars on it. One of Katie's classic combo, purple with stars. Oh, it glows in the dark. It glows in the dark? No way! Oh, oh I am... this is a, a Okay, we're having squid. the same, like, thought process at the same time. This is a massive squid with not a very massive claw. So it's gonna probably, I mean, hopefully it'll pull an axolotl on us and hit it, but still pick it up. Let's see if it even goes around. Oh, okay. oh, they got stuck on the front flipper. I, I, flipper okay. is not the right word for this. Um, um, try it again, gill? try it again. A gill? No, I don't know what that is. I'm not Somebody sure. that's a marine biologist, will you please weigh in in the comments? Only what should if I do differently? You hope it spins better to not hit the flap. I'm gonna call it a flap. You might okay. need to go, uh, yeah, I know, because you need to line it up perfectly so that it goes around it still. Yeah, give it a go, I don't know. If it does the same thing, then it does the same thing. It did do the same thing. Maybe if you come a smile amount forward so that it can tuck under okay. the flap. I know, it might not go around, but it might slide down. It's gonna be a really risky maneuver here, but risking it for the glow-in-the-dark stars. It makes me think of those stars like you could put on your bedroom ceiling. That's exactly right. What do you think Did you of come this? forward at all? It looks almost like you didn't. All right, give it a go. It looks like it might be a little bit to the right as well. Good teamwork all around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what we said. No, no, oh. no, no, no. It still didn't do it. Uh, it's just not getting that hard clamp on there like we got with that first axolotl. Of course, something we've always wanted is one of these because, I mean, you can't get that anywhere else. But we've actually never won one of these round one basketballs. They're perfectly round, perfectly the size of the claw, and notoriously a little difficult to win. So Katie is going to try to do her perfect lineup here. If you really want to hit it smack in the middle with the, look, she's going all the that way down there. That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good to me. Let's see. That's that pretty, was great. Pretty smack in the middle. But it has to be a literal perfect grab for it to be able to pick it up. 
What do you think? One more time. One more time, okay. Yeah, we've wanted it, we've tried it several times. So I feel like all the times that we've tried for the basketball, if we would have stayed on the same machine, we probably would have it at this point. But I'm gonna get the line up here. Okay, going all the way down to make sure she gets that side line up. Front and back. And a classic, really good lineup. That front claw was actually limp noodle in it. Yeah, it didn't grab it really at all. Um, mm. I don't know. Like, do you think it's worth it again? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> one more time. We'll do like the classic three because we don't that, know. That is kind of our thing, the three tries. And you're out. So let's see, let's Ooh, I see. I hate when it hits it the glass. And it's actually kind of on the tall side. So it's not perfectly round. You can see the two sides are actually a little bit flat. So I feel like if it was on the side with the words facing, you know, up and down instead of left to right, it might actually have a little bit of a grab better than it is right now. I notice we're not double tapping. Yeah, see that front claw just doesn't go, oh, that's what I just said. Try oh, one more time. Do you want to sub in for it? Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, this is what you said. It's flatter somehow, somehow. with the seams this way. Yes. Are you going to double tap? I don't know. Probably not. He doesn't know. I don't, I probably We not. never know until he does it. That's also true. No, see, Ooh. look, look, see the front claw was null and void. Yeah, but. That was a good example of the front claw being null and void. But why? Is it set that way? Is it stuck where it is? Or is it like not able to clamp enough because it's like a circle? Maybe that's what it is. I'm literally trying this one last time. Just This for... one I'm a little um, befuddled on. I agree. So I have to go a little bit to the right, otherwise it will just go true. straight into the. The abyss. Uh oh, Ooh. so we closed on that one, but I did a terrible job. All right, this is it. I just really, <laughs> I really want this basketball. I know we've tried so many times, and eventually they're not gonna have it. That I'm gonna be sad. Right, that's exactly right. This we would keep. It would go on the shelf. True. We don't have anything that says round one. Oh, but it did it again. What's All up right. with that front claw? It's that one. That's the issue, officer. You're, you're bad. Against what I would imagine is our better judgment. We're gonna go for what I'm <laughs> gonna just loosely say is probably the hardest shape here. Um, it looks like a kebab to me. Yeah, it or does. Or like, um, like a popsicle or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a cake pop. I'm gonna call oh, it. Oh, like a little cake pops. That could be cute. Um, I don't, I guess I'm just gonna go for the middle of it and hope for the best. So it looks like a panda on top, a penguin, and a. Yes. Do we have a mystery animal situation? It is a mystery animal. It doesn't have ears. How am I supposed to know what it is? And does it have a tail? You're going to need a witness because I need to know. Whoa. Did you see that double tap action there? Yeah. Okay. So um, the thing about like the long huh. cylinder items is the balance is really the issue. You have to kind of get it like right on. I guess it's like the difference between like a football and a soccer ball. Well, that looks better and interesting. Uh, approach. I like what you're doing. I don't hate this. So you have to grab the penguin. Yeah. But technically the penguin's not the true center because of the stick. But I think the weight center. Oh, okay. It has to be the weighted center. We like, should bring like a, the like center a of scale mass. like to find the center of all of these after we win them. Whoa! Oh, see, but the problem is when it's popping it like that, it's flopping it. So even if you get the perfect lineup on the claw, it's Can pushing. you try one without double tapping? Yes, I will. For science, For please. you, just for you. Not for me, for science. Okay. All right, so I'm like, lining it up with yeah. the penguin again. I just kind of want to see if it'll be as snappy yes. as it is. As snappy. Oh, <gasps> oh, 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 oh okay, oh, no, uh, so I have an idea. Okay, what's I have the one idea? idea? It's been pushing it really far toward the back wall, so I'm gonna go line it up more towards the back. Oh, that's as far right as I can go. Okay. Okay, and as far left, going. far back. That's as far back and right as I can go. Uh oh. Oh, I really thought it had it that time. I really did too. Oh, but it's definitely out of play. Of course, this round one is super nice. They would fix it for you if you really wanted it, but I think we're just gonna let it go. Something we don't show a lot in our round one videos are these little chibi cranes. They're really small, really cute, but they're 10 credits, which are almost just as much as the, the big claws like. It's also extremely busy over here and loud. So I don't even know how much of this you're gonna be able to hear. Katie wants to go over this cow, which she says is winnable. I said, I don't think the cow is winnable. She said, I know it is. What do you think? I get, you're gonna have to do what you have to do. I understand what you were going for. Okay, you moved it into spot. I think you have like one more swipe. Um, the tag is the problem. The tag, the giant tag? Okay, um, go back a little bit then. A little bit more, like seriously. 
Yeah, do that. You think that'll work? Yeah, it's gonna have to. The tag is not gonna win it. Yeah, see? Will it hold it? It did! Yay. Look at you. Finally, literally that was the last 10 credits that we had on the card. You finally got a nice little win there and a pink cow. That's exactly what you said you wanted. I love it. Well, that was a really fun visit to a new round one for us and one that I will definitely come back to because I had a great time. Even though I was, I think, the like most unlucky person of all time and all I won was this really tiny cow, but I really love it, so it's okay. I'm not that worried about it. Spencer had some great wins today, some extremely lucky wins. Um, like this, this figurine was really cool. And hey, they had a great redemption area, so it's not like I'm walking away empty-handed because I'm going to keep that otter. I love it. So uh, yeah, definitely recommend it and hopefully we'll be back.